What message are we telling investors in this republic? What are they supposed to do? In fact, that was one of the arguments we had when we were wondering the intentions of the land or chapter uh, on the constitution. We were wondering why you give one person a catablanche, a free hand, to decide what to do with investments of others and just talk about casually the question of compensation. How do you compensate? How much money will the taxpayer have to churn out to do these compensations? One building along Mombasa Road, uh, sample them, could cost about 3 billion shillings. Most of them are about 30 million US dollars. What, what do you intend to do? The taxpayer to bring down buildings and paying them instead of relocating the city? We just have to plan. We have to ac accept that Nairobi is congested. It's no longer tenable to continue expanding within the city center. And therefore, we just come to terms with that. And I think the government should also come up with a very clear policy that uh, no more buildings should come up maybe 50 meters away from the roads, from the highways, all the way down to Busia, all the way down to Kisum, all the way down to Mombasa. Because these structures that are coming up will then be destroyed again in, another, in a few years down the line. So let's come up with a very clear policy on how to deal with our highways. But uh, the, the, the route they are taking is, uh, is, is, a very, is very sorry indeed. And it's unfortunate that it is coming from the ODM wing. But that is ODM for you, gentlemen. We want to ask the government, and specifically the Prime Minister, who is in charge of coordinating the government functions, is he coordinating distractions or investments in this country? Wherever he goes out, we are urging private investors to come and invest here. And uh, on the other hand, we want to say the law provides for compulsory acquisition. Yes, it, is, it does. But the question is, do you have to destroy those buildings? It has even a sentimental value to the owners, not only even the investment alone. There is that sentimental value, even if you give that person three times the, uh, what he or she had invested. I mean, you cannot pay the value of that attachment uh, for that property. So we want to ask the government. There is the Northern Pipers along Langata, which has been left. You can't, people can't use because they fear tax are there. Why can they, instead of trying to even use some of the money, construct the, those, those roads? So it's, it beats the logic. Is, he, is the government targeting people? Is the government targeting uh, properties of, 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 of other people? Or is the government really serious about uh, roads uh, construction?